Right, you lovely people, I'm gonna give you three of the quickest pasta dishes ever that I use all the time at home that my family love. Let's do this. First up, I'm gonna share with you my wife's favorite pasta ever. So I've got a pan of boiling salted water on the go. I wanna grab, you know, a nice little handful of spaghetti. Just grab it, twist it with your hands like that, and then in it goes. Now the sauce literally is the simplest sauce ever in the world. I'm gonna use a lovely unwaxed lemon. Get a fine grater, just lightly grate, just the yellow part. Then I'm gonna cut this in half and then squeeze the lemons through your fingers to catch the pips. We can lightly season this with a little salt and then we're gonna add cold pressed extra virgin olive oil. About twice as much cold pressed extra virgin olive oil as your lemon juice. When you've done that, we want about 40 grams of Parmesan and that's it. That is the sauce done. So the pasta has had its time now, nine minutes. And what I wanna do is use some of that lovely starchy water. And I'm just gonna pick the pasta up, let some of that water drip into the oil and Parmesan. So just mix the lovely hot pasta in there like that, and then just let it go onto the plate. And a little bit of basil is always joyful with a last little grating of Parmesan. Let's have a little try. Mm, look at that, so simple, made in minutes with just a handful of ingredients. So there you go, that is my lemon and parmesan pasta. You're gonna love the next pasta sauce. So quick and delicious, let's do it. I've got some rosemary, some smoked pancetta, some parmesan and red wine. That's all you need and I know you're gonna love it. So the pasta's in, I've got a pan on a medium high heat and I'm gonna start with some beautiful pancetta. You only need two rashers, straight to the pan with just a kiss of olive oil. I wanna go fairly generous on the black pepper and we wanna get it crispy. You can see the bacon starting to fry. I wanna take some rosemary. You don't need that much. Just like a little kind of pinch of herb like that and just finely slice it. And then move that over to the bacon here. It's gonna be so good. What we can do now is break the frying by adding the red wine. So I'm gonna add about a quarter of a glass and we're gonna basically boil that up. I'll take a little moment now to grate just a little bit of Parmesan. Look, if you look in the pan, you can hear we're frying again. And then what I can do is add just a little bit of that starchy cooking water and that wrapped around the spaghetti is gonna be a thing of joy. So in we go, look at the color, ruby red. And as I'm tossing that, I'm gonna put in that Parmesan. So simple. And then we just plate up. The subtle fragrance that I can smell now of the rosemary and the simplest of sauces. Look at that juice. A nice long grating of parmesan over the top, and that's it, mate. Mm. Mm. Really good. So subtle, so simple. So there you go, guys. That is my quick spaghetti pasta with red wine, pancetta, rosemary, and parmesan. Thing of joy. Please. Have a go at that, you won't regret it. Let me show you the third and final pasta. It's a pesto, but not as you know it. And we're gonna use something really everyday, really convenient, and that is the humble frozen peas. Always good. A nice little handful of pasta, enough for sort of two or three people. So get yourself a couple of big handfuls of frozen peas into a pestle and mortar like this, and get them kind of cracked. So I'm gonna take a nice handful of mint like that, and I'm just gonna rip off the mint like that. We're gonna go in with the mint and we're gonna smash that to a pulp. And then we can add the garlic. So we're adding the ingredients one by one. Little pinch of salt. You can go really fine if you want, but I quite like it about this texture. So it's kind of chunky and mushy. What I quite like to do now is just squeeze in the juice of just half a lemon and fresh. So just squeeze that lemon juice. I'm then gonna drizzle in three or four tablespoons of olive oil, and that's what you're gonna get. Look at that, look at the color. So you wanna add a nice little handful of Parmesan, muddle that in. So what I wanna do now, as the pasta's nearly there, is just grab myself a little bit of this boiling water. Keep that to one side, you might need that, okay? Then we're gonna drain our lovely pasta, and then the residual heat of the pasta and the water, just a little bit of water goes in followed by the pesto. Look at the color of that. Every last bit, get it all out. Right, let's plate it up. Such a quick, delightful, beautiful dish. That's a nice big platter there, get it all in. Really, really good, and I've got loads more left here, but the way I'd finish that is now just with a little stroke of Parmesan on top. A kiss of oil, and there you go. Right, let's have a try. Hot and steamy. There's like this amazing, harmony between the sweetness of the peas 
and the pepperiness of the olive oil, saltiness of the parmesan, and then that kind of like zing of the lemon. Guys, you're gonna love that. Go on, have a go.